mentioned the Boston Celtics were dominant in their run, um, wins-wise, according to some people, uh, to get to the NBA Finals. And now they know officially, officially that it is the, the Dallas Mavericks. Um, I kind of want to just get into the series completely now. Like, how are y'all feeling? X factors. I, I want to hear it all. I'm going to let D. Millie have the floor. Are you going to let me have the floor? Because it's always interesting to hear you speak when we're talking about the Celtics. Cause just, I mean, beca- just because this kind of all came out of nowhere. Uh, let's, let's, what was the Drake line? It's, this, this ain't nothing. It's been brewing for a minute or something like that? Sure. You got that I forgot, half. I, for, yeah. Okay. I, for, <laughs> uh, I know, Austin. I know. I know. We're going to let him try to cook, though. He cooking with half the ingredients, but okay. But no, it's I, I I just look at this team and I just see I don't know what I see. I I, I see a talented <laughs> team, right? But I also see he flaw- to pass no, no, I see a talented team. I'm not saying they're not a talented team. Mm-hmm. But I also see a team that I'm not really scared of if I'm on the opposing side. Um like if I'm Dallas, I don't look at the Boston Celtics and look at the season they have and feel like, oh man, we got a mountain to climb, like this is gonna be tough. I think this is a pretty even kill team. Like I think that's I think they're damn near on the same playing level. Like, I, I Celtics may have had a dominant regular season, don't get me wrong, but I don't think that they were that much dominant than the teams in the West. I think those teams in the West was just as good as just they had a, on a night to night basis. They were going against each other. Like there was a dog fight whereas the Celtics was in the East. The East is kind of weak. And so like it's easy to rack up those wins in a regular season and you get to chill. And you, those fadeaway shots from Tatum, they're going to fall because he's going against the Pistons. Like, it's it's something like that. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. You um, be having very good arguments, and then you always get one point that just I ain't played the Pistons in a very long no, time. Bro. And let's not act like Tatum averages 12 against good talent. Like, yeah, <laughs> like he's just, still, no, there's Tatum a lot of good teams that they beat. Tatum and they still, still they probably good. even have Jason Celtics, Tatum have a good game. The Celtics are a good team. They're a great team. They're a great team. Mm-hmm. I just think the teams out west were better. They just had to go against each other on a more regular How basis. How many teams out west were better than the Celtics? I think the Nuggets were. Okay. Um, That's fair. You also, the you, also you also thought a lot you of teams. You had the Dallas Mavericks better than them? No, I'm just saying. Or just like point, in general? Yeah, at yeah this right point, now I yeah. think the Dallas Mavericks You also better thought that the Bucks were better? You thought the Sixers were better? Yeah, if they were healthy. I did <laughs> think that they were going to beat them. So so your argument of the, the East being weak, but you had two teams out East better than them. <laughs> Wait, wait, that, that don't, wait, the face you make when somebody asks a question like that I'm, or like a rebuttal is hilarious. Well, the, the Bucks thing, they had a they had a little bit of time to jail. <laughs> when Derek like, started doing this, he caught he caught nah, out. The Bucks, you, you, you know how Derek is feeling, basically. Like when he's feeling good, you see the shoulders roll a little bit. You see him jump. No, nah, the Bucks. He get nervous. That foot gonna tap. He he massages somebody. But <laughs> listen, the point I'm trying to make is. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. No, the Bucks team was a little. I'm also saying they, this. I also, what I want you to know. Yeah. When I said give you the floor, it's not to it's not to debate a thing. I just want you to cook. Yeah. Now, if you do say something questionable, because we are more than your yeah. co-hosts, we your brothers. We had a we're gonna, conversation. We, we gonna get yeah. on you, but yeah. they don't have to say anything in a defense mode, thinking we are gonna attack it. Yeah. But I am gonna say you did pick those up two teams to beat them. Yeah, I thought if they were healthy and they went against the Celtics, I thought they was those were the two teams that I thought could legitimately beat them. Mm-hmm. Um, based off of? Based off Giannis Antetokounmpo, who I thought was going to be the best player in that series, and I thought he would, especially if Porzingis was there, I thought it was going to really give him problems because Porzingis throughout the history, I mean, I remember seeing the stats that Giannis is giving him like 40-something whenever they match up against each other. Mm-hmm. So, like, I just thought that was going to be a very compelling matchup. I don't think Porzingis to me is, Someone who's watched, he's not a guy that fe- make, puts fear into me. I know a lot of people look into him and say, like, he's his That's who Ant Man fear. And, like, remember, Ant Man was like, I don't fear Rudy, I fear Porzingis. P- <laughs> <laughs> Porzingis the one that be blocking me. I don't feel like teams look at Porzingis and I, I don't think Luca and Kyrie are going to be like, oh, man, we got Porzingis in the paint. I, or, like, well, I no. feel like they ain't like going to look at nobody. Yeah, like they just that. be Rudy Gobert. Yeah, so, I know. They ain't going to look at nobody like that. Yeah, so. For me, I think matchup wise, I think this these teams match up very evenly. I think these teams match up as well. I definitely do think this the Mavericks should go in here, um, looking at this team as a tall mountain to climb because they are the best team that they have faced, um, Mm -hmm. and they are and have been the better team throughout the entire season, throughout the playoffs. Um, The the Mavericks are cooking though, so they should be confident. You don't go into any series fearful, and they have shown us a week off. That they're not going to be fear, they're not going to be fear, uh, fearful of anybody because they mm-hmm. just handled the the Minnesota Timberwolves 
easily the team that you thought was going to beat them. Um, <laughs> I do think that the Mavericks' biggest question for me is the defense you've played all playoffs, which has worked against every every team that you've played, <clears throat> It might not be the same against this Celtics team because Przingis is a 7-2, 7-3 guy who can shoot lights out, because Al Horford went 7-12 in a playoff game in the very last series we saw, because Derek White is elite, because Drew Holiday is a shot maker, and then you also have their two best players play a position that your wings, I don't know if they <laughs> match up. I, not, let me not say I don't know. They don't match up with these guys mm -hmm. as well. And as good as Kyrie has been <laughs> – as uh, locked in on defense, uh, Luka and Kyrie have been. Uh, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, no matter what you have to say about them, is a tall ask of anybody in any series. Oh, for and sure. when I look at the Mavericks, I respect what they've done defensively. I love what they've done defensively. But when you play that gap and base off the reads and the, the, the willingness of passing that Jason Tatum e exposed in the Pacers series – it's sh it, it's, yeah. it's going to be took tough. A lot, you took a lot like that I was thinking just kind of like. I took your brain? Yeah. Because all those times you was kind of like, hey, we going to kind of leave uh, Kyle Anderson. We'll, ha we'll, we'll help off him. We'll yeah. help off Lou Dort and company or something. For like, sure. You can't help off them <laughs> other guys. Like they can legit run five out. And even if it's like you do have Luca on the island guarding Jason Tatum and you want to trap Jason Tatum, he's doing nothing but kicking it to guys that will like kill you in on all three levels yeah I'm, I'm curious to how dallas throughout these playoff run they've done a good job of making yeah. teams uncomfortable i wonder what's jason kidd's plan to make the celtics uncomfortable mm. like they've done a very good job at it that's yeah. just my biggest gripe yeah mm -hmm. I, I, and now and i'm gonna say this and just be as honest as i can be no celtic fans should get offended but this is just how i feel and i'm that's how i'm rocking my prediction and my pick will continue to be the Celtics as I picked since the start of the season, and I think they're going to win the finals. I will not hold back that I am rooting for the Dallas Mavericks and Kyrie Irving to win the championship. Yeah, I'm not mad. I am what too. I'm rooting for versus my pick are two, le two completely things. As an, anal as an analyst who's doing his job, I am picking the Boston Celtics. When I am at home watching this game as a fan before I make my video as an analyst again, I am going to be saying, Kyrie getting your bag. <laughs> I won't Kyrie I'm to get not his lick back. I'm not hiding that at all. Yeah, yeah. Kyrie, I'm get that lick back. That, I'm not hiding that at all. I, I, I'm Kyrie, Kyrie Porzingis get that lick back. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Porzingis my boy, too. <laughs> but I'm a bigger Kyrie I think Irving Joy fan. I think posted a clip of that Luka was playing against the Celtics when he was like 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was crazy to see. Shout out you to don't the remember team. when he played in the preseason against Yeah, no. Uh... Look at a nice hoodie, Russell, man. Russell Westbrook. Thank you, yeah. man. That's a really cool Yeah, why you never wore yours? I don't know. I've just never worn it here. Oh. I've worn it. I've worn it outside. I've just never worn it. No, no. We we know that who really got that hoodie. <laughs> oh uh -oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not his hoodie no she more. She got the hoodie and the pants. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that gap slash late help defense it will be tough to run against Boston because they have all five shooters. Porzingis looks good. They say he's healthy. He's probably going to be good to go. One of the coolest or the interesting things about it is that the Dallas Mavericks generate the mo one of the most corner three-pointers in all of basketball, their top three, and Celtics the Boston take Celtics away. take that away. Um, so it's going to be a tug and pull. Who's going to get to play their style of basketball for the longest? Um, but I agree with a lot of stuff you said. Like, though the Celtics are the favorite and they should be the favorite, the Dallas Mavericks have a real legitimate chance in this series. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm be honest with you, last year when we, we were talking NBA Finals, it was Denver versus Miami. Even though Miami did all of that, in my mind, there was no real chance for them yeah. to win Facts. that series. That's Facts. Especially song. since Jimmy Butler, his, he was playing on a bad ankle. Yeah, at this point Somebody in time. Somebody said you picked the Miami Heat last year. Was that true? Oh. I don't remember. No, I don't. I, I'm going to just say there's no way he picked the Miami Somebody Heat. Somebody said the, it the foot, the foot, I mean, it's going to be out no there somewhere. When they were saying that about the Celtics, somebody said this is the same dude that picked the Miami Heat. I heard he Mills say a lot of stuff. I don't think he picked Miami Heat. I didn't Maybe. know. That's why I asked. <laughs> but I seen somebody say that. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I don't remember either. I, I feel like he was in the same round where he was like, I'm rooting for them. Oh, I'm maybe for I did. Because I think we was them, all rooting for Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Bubba. no, I think that's what I said. I think I said, I'm, like what Pierre said, he said he's rooting for the Mavs when he's picked. I think I literally said I'm rooting for the Heat. Okay. But I picked the Denver Nuggets okay. to win. Because I was, I, was, I no felt way. the same way that There's you said. No I'm way. like, when I saw them, I was like, 
I was I was about to say something to that person, but I'm like, let me shut up because I don't know factually. Yeah. But I was definitely finna have your back. Like, ain't no way D-Mill <laughs> said that. Stop putting words in his mouth. Mm. But just for them to tag a clip, like he did say it. And I was gonna be like, oh. Yeah. So I'm like, let me not even Part say Part of that, that reason though that they do have a chance. I legit think there's they don't really have a coverage for Luca. I mean, Jason, like, he's got the size advantage on Drew Holiday and Derek White, and they still gonna play amazing defense, but he's proven like he can just shoot over you or make those tough shots or make the right play. I think we was talking about uh, on the last pod. It might have to be Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown that starts, like, when they switch out the assignments, they take on that initiative. Because because some of their bigs mm -hmm. have a little bit of mobility, like Al Horford, I think they may be a little bit more aggressive. Like what KB was just saying, I think they might be the ones to do it, to say, hey, to trap him. blitz him constantly. But you know what? They did zero blitzing all season long. That, yeah. As a team. And this, then this uh, going to help me. This going to make his point sound a little better. <laughs> they ain't play nobody. They have to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not even just talking. No, I'm talking I, regular season yeah, too. Yeah, I, I, I want to say the same thing because honestly, you have Derek White, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown. Like, I trust those guys one on one in most case scenarios. Didn't they blitz, this wasn't one, they blitzing Tyler Hero? <laughs> I no. can't remember. They did not. I mean, maybe they did occasionally. Yeah. But just all season long, postseason, they are they're the yeah. lowest blitz team in basketball. If they, they did, I mean, it makes sense. They have Derek White and Drew on the perimeter. They yeah. got If they did blitz them. Tyler Hero, what makes sense? He had twenty five and fourteen. Yeah. That was the best game I ever seen that man play. Um. They also ran Jalen Brown as a primary defender against Luca for the last couple seasons. They did um, against Steph Curry too when they played in the regular season. And then Luca was guarding Drew Holiday on the other end. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the the times they went against each other, it was one before the trade deadline. It was one with after the trade deadline. But after the trade deadline, it's not a lot you could take from it because Derrick Jones Jr. was only playing seven minutes. Derrick Lively, uh, Derrick, uh, Daniel Gafford only played seven minutes too. So it was before they found their real rotation post yeah. trade deadline. But it was interesting to see defensive schemes. So like in that first game, um, they let Porzingis shoot completely. Porzingis hit three threes in the first quarter. Like, that's something they're probably going to live with every single time. The same way they did with Chet Holmgren in the first series. Like, mm -hmm. if you're a seven-footer that can shoot, you got to beat us because we're not going to bring Derek Lively up to the point of attack. That's just not how we run our defense. Um, and poor Zingas is coming off this injury. Will he be rusty? Will he be able to make them pay for them not, hey, not shooting? He's going to be rusty. He will be rusty. Me knowing Porzingis, he's going to be rusty. Yeah. At least game one. And oh, I man. feel like one thing Porzingis did he capitalized on in regular season is the switches, posting up. There's no one on Dallas that he could really switch you on to. And, like, you could say, person is going to punish them. Like, I don't really Kai, see that. He's shooting over Kai. If, if you want to shoot, shoot that little 15-foot jump shot over me, that's his first. That's his version yeah. of punish. I, yeah. yeah. I, we've I feel, never I seen him sides. punish, like, oh, oh, mm. drop step dunk. <laughs> but his version of punish is that. And I think it's hard to call it a punish because me, you, the Dallas Mavericks, uh, the Miami Heat, you're living with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I agree. It's not a punish, mm. but that is his But it's got to be punish. inside his mind. It's just like this 10-foot jumper I can make all day or 10 to 15 because he's really just shooting, like you said, shooting over him. It's just in his mind it's got to be like a layup for him. But, again, that's still a very harder shot than just taking him down low Absolutely. and getting that. Yep. He can do both. He can do both. We definitely seen him do it. I don't know if he's taking him down low and drop stuff. That he ain't for <laughs> Yeah. I'm not. That's just not. He's always been a finesse. He game. was struggling with Tyler Hero. He was.